Hi, beautiful. Thank you for being here today. You look marvelous. Luxurious. Today, we're watching some people dye their hair rainbow. I'm excited to see some rainbow hair today. I need a little, like, life. I need a little funk and jazzerino in my life because today was dreary as hell, and it was depressing, and it was hard to sit here and do this. So I need some excitement. The energy has been drained for me, and I want some more energy. The energy is hopefully gonna come from some beautiful hair coloring today and some beautiful rainbow, fantastic, extra, fabulous hair. With that said, let's watch some people dye their hair rainbow. Let's do it. I can't see anything. I can't see anything. Up first, we have a video by a channel called Buttons Lives, and this is called Rainbow Hair Color Challenge 8 Minute Instruction. Ooh, we love concise, short, and sweet instructions, baby. So let's do it. Let's get into this. I will be using color remover, and I'm going to need at least two boxes because my hair is pretty thick. Right off the bat, we have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot going on, and it has me spooked. What we have going on is like two inches of dark roots. And then we have this faded out soft pink on the rest of her hair. So I believe she's gonna try and remove that and also bleach her roots and then do the rainbow. So hopefully this goes good. She's using color remover, which God damn it. I don't understand this color oop stuff because it says it's not for direct dyes and a semi-permanent color is a direct dye. So what the is it for direct dye or not? Cause people be using it and it be working and it worked for me a little bit, but I don't know, man. The color remover turned my hair blue, and I can't say that I'm surprised. I'm confused. Um, her hair is dark blue. It's not just blue, it's dark blue. Not understanding where that dark blue came from. Not even a little bit. She just took five steps back, and she's not at all concerned, so good for her. So bleaching is a little bit more complicated than color remover. What I'm gonna be doing is mixing the look. bleach, and then applying it first to the darker banded areas, and then moving it into the lighter. And later, I will be adding it to the natural root color. Make sure your hair it looks better before. Dry before you put any bleach on it. I mean, at least we're gonna bleach the hair. You know, she's gonna need to if she wants to get all that color out or most of it in order to do the rainbow over everything. So if she takes small enough sections, it should be okay. I mean, listen, it looks like it's going on. Is it going on great? No. Are these sections scary? Yes, they're way too big for. Me. I don't know what's going on, to be honest with you, but now we're doing the roots, her dark roots with the bleach wash. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. I was gonna say this was gonna happen, but it already happened. Why are there spots missing? Why didn't we section the hair? Why didn't we bleach the roots with like real bleach without shampoo in it? And I have a lot of questions here. And I have a feeling that I'm not gonna get any of them answered. We'll just leave it there. I probably wouldn't use color remover. I would do 30 volume and lightener on your roots or 20 volume, depending on what you wanna do. Some people can take 30 volume, some people can't. I always use 30 volume. After I apply the roots, I would let them process for a little bit and I get nice and yellow for me. And then with the rest of the lightener left over, mix in some shampoo, some water, and put it all over the rest of the hair. That way everything lightens and everything lightens at the same time and nothing's over processed. The texture isn't great right now. Doesn't look great. Deposit color into it, it will improve. And also after two weeks or something. Ooh, oh, those are pretty. Oh, I'm excited to see this on her head. Okay, so I set this section aside in the front to do first and just tie it up the back. At least she's about to cover it with rainbow. These mistakes on her head are going to be covered. Hopefully, some parts are really, really orange. I don't know if the colors are gonna grab on correctly, but we shall. See? Okay, we're going in with some coral in the front. And after that, we're doing some orange and then into some yellow. Okay, really beautiful color combos we're going with right now. <gasps> Ooh, and she's doing a cool placement with it. Really going in there and getting those roots. Okay, yeah, yeah, I feel that. And now we're going with some deeper red on top of that, which is going to blend the colors really nicely. You can actually put your lighter colors on first and then your darkers over them. And it'll create kind of like a mixture of the two colors with a really nice blending effect. Um, just depending on what kind of blend you want, you can totally do that. Now she's going with some purple in the back, which is a really interesting color placement. And I'm really loving it so far. This is different. I was not expecting something like this at all. So like a for originality, girl. Oh, 
yes. <coughs> oh, she has me coughing. She went in with some green and some blue. And yo, she is going for it. This is going to completely change her look. And I am so ready for it. I wonder if she always does crazy colors like this. Like this is wild. These are the prettiest colors. I don't know if she mixed them herself or what, but they are gorgeous and they are giving me everything pride right now. And I am so ready to see this canvas be dried and clean. And I want to know what this is going to look like. Please tell me that this turns out good because I will be literally so distraught if this doesn't look good. All right, this is ready to be washed out carefully so that the colors don't mix together. That's too a much. wild um, moment. It has to be washed out with very cold water. Wash it off, wash it off. I want to see it. <sighs> Shut up. <sighs> oh my God. The back is even better. <clears throat> oh my God. Yeah, oh my God. Hold on, give me a second, I'm just gonna watch this. Whoa. She has beautiful hair and the shine on her hair when she was done, I was shook. Love the color placement. Of course, there is some banding you got going on in there. Oh, next time we'll just, we'll get that right. But besides the banding, we're gonna ignore that for now. It was so cool. That color placement, those colors you used, everything was such a magical rainbow moment. And that is exactly what I needed for the first video today. Thank you. Let's move on to the next video. Up next, we have a video by Kitten Colors, and this is called Rainbow Hair Using Only X Mondo Hair Color. Mm -hmm. The only thing better than rainbow hair is rainbow hair using my sh all right, so today I'm gonna be dyeing my brother Zach's hair. Here he is. We've already bleached it. Oh my it's like god, really, really he's so cute. All the way around. This is gonna be my child. This is uh, what it's gonna be here like. Here are the colors I'm gonna be using. Orange, Ooh. blue, green, red, and pink. This is like a different green color that we're gonna use as his base color and purple. And then yellow. A custom mix moment. We love it. Not only is she using all the colors, but she's making her own colors out of the entire rainbow. I love it. I love it. I love it. Those are some beautiful colors you mixed up. All right. So I'm just going in with the base color green all around the sides and back of his head where the hair is shorter. <laughs> I'm going to go in and take my first section and just start establishing the pattern that I want to create. Oh, this green, this like kind of mint green that she's going in with to start. Oh, it's so creative, it's so good. Both of these videos so far today have been so different and so creative and I really appreciate it. Then orange, then red, then pink, then purple. And I'm just gonna repeat that pattern as I go through. And um, something I find really helpful. This kid is so the smaller the brush, the easier it is to control and put the color exactly where you want it when you're going through. Um, instead of painting from top down, try starting like where the bottom of the section is going to be and then painting upward and that keeps the hair right in place and keeps it from moving around. Oh my god, the patience on this girl. Except it's not as bad as when you're doing a wig and the wig is 18 inches long because I've done that before and, d and did this exact same thing and girl, I hated it every second of it. But you seem like you're doing it really well. My color is really great to use on projects like this because the color is on the thicker side so it doesn't, you know, blend with other colors unless you force it to. But it is good because it all stays in place and it doesn't kind of like bleed into each other. I'm gonna start with the yellow so I'm gonna start. Wow, this is mesmerizing. That way if any other colors accidentally overlap, it's already got that yellow in place as a barrier and so it's gonna just stay yellow. I usually don't start at the top. It's easier to start at the bottom and middle just because it locks that hair into place. If you start at the top, the hair is kind of not really stuck down yet and so you can get hair dye kind of all over the place. Wow. Middle and ends and then work your way up to the top and the hair won't move. And I'm just going in with my second section. So instead of starting with blue, I'm gonna start with purple since uh, in my pattern, uh, purple just comes right before blue. She is so talented too. Like she is taking extremely precise sections. And then going on to my third and final section for this part, uh, I'm gonna take kind of like a bigger section just because this is my last one. And I'm gonna start with pink on this one. Starting with the yellow is a genius idea. Sometimes I don't think through things enough and you know, I end up not taking the best route 
to get to the final desired result. But starting with the yellow is such a good idea. That way the other colors don't bleed into the yellow. It's just so smart. The entire head isn't going to be rainbow. It's just going to have uh, highlights or sections of rainbow almost throughout the neon green base. That's fun. I can't wait to see that. This is like the best hair dye I've ever used. Pretty much what we did to create these colors is I went and I got some paper plates. I got every single of the Xmondo colors and I just opened them all up, put some conditioner on the paper plate, and then just added different colors until I got each color that I wanted. Thank you for so much support, by the way, on my brand. That's very sweet of you for buying all the colors. The thing she's doing right now, they seem to be easy, but I promise you, it's not. She's changing the patterns. She's mixing in the mint green in between the, the rainbow. I mean, she has all kinds of stuff going on, but her client is into it. They are sitting right there you sometimes don't get that lucky with clients they're like on the phone they're doing this they're moving around they're dancing they're talking and it's like girl if you want this rainbow you're going to stand still or sit still oh i just can't wait for the vibes of this i can't wait for this kid to win best hair in his middle school and high school and everywhere else <laughs> what other kids are wearing their hair like this to school not when i grew up nobody was doing this i only started coloring my hair like bright colors um in the past few years. So yeah, this is sick. And this is how it should be. Kids should be able to have fun with their hair. I'm so sick of parents being like, no, you can't color your hair until you're 18. Girl, if you're a parent out there, let your kid color their damn hair, okay? Life is too short. If that's what's gonna make them happy, let them do it. Not telling you how to parent or anything, but a little bit. It's not about you. It's about the kid being happy. And if you don't want your kids to be happy, then you shouldn't have had children anyways. Whoa, where's this all coming from? Should we cut that out? No, let's leave it in. And then again, I'm just wrapping everything up, either mesh sheets or tin foil. Let's see the finished result. For an hour, and we went outside in the sunlight because heat. Ah! I would seriously scream right now if I didn't have neighbors. Cold water, and then I styled it using the Ex Mondo uh, leave-in hair cream. I think it's called Electric Rain. And then I also used Viper Oil. I just mixed those together and blow dried his hair. And this is how it turned out. Okay, sorry. One, I am intimidated by this presence on my screen. Wow, that looks amazing. This kid is adorable. The makeup, the hair, immaculate. Like, oh my God, if my child isn't like this, I'm returning it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would love my kid for whoever they are, but this is sick. The rainbow, the way she styled it with electric rain and viper. Oh my God. Everything is perfect. This is the most exciting video I've seen in a long time. Oh my God. Great job. Seriously. And thank you for all the support of my brand. And wow. That was awesome. Let's watch one more video, shall we? Up next, we have a video by Ashley Kikiros. Kikiros. Honestly, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. I will figure it out. Let's check it out. Today, we're doing a hair dyeing video. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know I'm not a professional. I don't do hair. I don't know how to do hair. And I don't like doing hair but I always manage to somehow do it anyways. We're off to a fabulous start. She doesn't do hair, she doesn't like doing hair, and she is not a professional. Um, word. At least we have honesty, you know? That's all you can really ask for in life. So today we're gonna be dyeing our hair rainbow. Woo! I love a good rainbow for gay pride, baby. Happy pride, people. So I could play it off with my aesthetically pleasing marble countertop. This has a lot of colors to put on one head uh, and a lot of interesting colors. I don't know how this is all gonna go together, but we'll see. I think she's mixing up her own colors, which I love. I love a custom moment. It's like, what color is your hair? It's custom, actually. Yeah, you can't get this on your own head. You can try, but not gonna happen. We're starting with some yellow on the sides of her head. Oh, okay. I feel like this yellow is not dark enough. What the hell do I know? Sometimes even semi permanent color starts off really light and then develops kind of dark. So I'm hoping that that's the case with this or else I feel like it's just gonna kind of not do much. Um, that is quite the color mixture. I'm into it. The only kind of hesitation I have is because her hair is so short. I just feel like it's gonna look like, I don't know, maybe a little strange, but also I've definitely done stuff like this where it's just like a bunch of colors laid next to each other on short hair um, and it looks pretty cool. I'm also a little bit worried because she keeps painting the hair downwards onto her scalp and not going the other way and not sectioning at all. Even though her hair is short, she is going to need to section it in order to get all of those roots evenly. Or else she's gonna have a ton of spotting and ugliness going on. Okay, we are going in very, a little sloppy there. Oh, come on. Come on, girl. You can't just put it on the top of your head. 
really beautiful colors, but this is not gonna turn out good. Why are we not even sectioning? We're sectioning nothing. Please don't tell me she's gonna actually leave it just like that, like, and not go underneath the hair. No way. You guys, come on. Did we just paint over the the section we just did as well. Okay, it looks kind of cool. She is combing it through. However, this is definitely gonna mix up all the colors um, and make it kind of like a little poopy looking. It's looking a little risky right now. It's a little, uh, I'm not really sure what, what it is right now. So we're gonna go ahead and let this sit for a bit, kind of get an idea of what we're working with. Please be decent. I want this outcome to be decent, please. So I think it's about that time. We've had this on for about 15 or 20 minutes. The yellow looks like it's depositing a bit more um, and getting a little bit darker. I mean, if it turns out just like this, it's gonna look really fierce. If it kind of lightens up as she washes it, it's not gonna be cute. I look like a hot mess right now and I look like kind of like a fool. Like if you ever called me a clown before, then uh, you're right. I am a clown. Uh... Actually, I don't hate it. The yellow definitely didn't take enough, but that was to be expected. But I do like these colors on her. I think they really bring out her skin. All right, you guys, we are all done. I'm wearing my small. Oh, wait. This is how it turned out, you guys. I know it's not my prettiest look. It was more for fun, more of like a checking it off the bucket list thing. I wanted to try out pretty much every single hair color I could. I agree with everything you just said. It's not the best, but it's not bad. And I'm glad you tried it. And we can check that off the list and maybe not go back. Maybe just do better color placement next time and um, use brighter colors. I just feel like it was a little bit too light and the color placement was a little strange, but I still think you rock it. So you would look amazing in anything to be honest with you. So you look fabulous, but next time let's do a little bit better, you know? Oh, those looks were sick. Kenning. So the second one might have been my favorite, I have to say. I don't usually pick favorites, but that kid was looking sick. That brought me so much happiness. <laughs> if you guys are not already subscribed, if you would like to, it is right down below. You can click the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. If you'd like to text me, I have a number, and yes, it's really connected to my phone, and you can really text it, it's right here. It'll also keep you notified every time I post a new video. If you'd like to check out my hair care and my color line, you can do so at xmondohair.com. It is also linked below for you. I'm wearing super red right now, but it is it out into this beautiful, gorgeous, sort of, some people call it pink sometimes, some people call it like a light red, it depends on the lighting, a little violet moment, but it looks fierce till the day it washes out. You can also check out some hair inspo on our Instagrams, at Xmondo Hair for hair care, and at Xmondo Color for color. If you'd like to check out my merch, you can do so at xmondohair.com, it is so comfy. Oh my God, I live in those sweatpants, and that hat, and that hoodie, so cute. If you'd like to follow me everywhere else, here are all my social media handles all around me. Check on my Snapchat show, my Facebook, on my Instagram, I'm on everything, TikTok, whatever you name it, I'm there. And I'll meet you there. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Chloe and she says, hey Brad, I have never done my hair at all. I really want to change something up. I changed the style, but I want to add some color. I really want to dye my whole head a dark cherry or do just the underneath colored purple. I just don't know what I want. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, yes. Uh, do a dark cherry all over 100%. I'm obsessed with cherry colored hair right now. Oh my God, mm, yes, oh my God, I see this for you and please do a dye permanent color to start you know do like a gloss that way you can do it and if you don't absolutely love it it'll wash out and then if you decide you really want to keep the look for a long time do a permanent color i just think it'll look amazing with your skin and your face and you're really beautiful and go for it if you end up doing it i would love to see it thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to live your extra life and i'll see you next time bye guys